bien. I love planes. I think they are simply the most awesome representation of humanity's progress and stubborn determination to conquer challenges. One of my many interactions with planes has been learning to fly a remote control one. Instead of buy one for a couple weeks worth of work, I thought it would be a fantastic idea to build my own. So after about a month's worth of work, I was ready to fly and I crashed it. <laughs> and I crashed it again. But the third time was not the charm. So it's a good thing that I'm slightly better at flying real planes so that I don't end up like this. Anyways, this adventure was one step in a much larger journey, designing and building my first airplane through authentic exploratory research. In this program at my high school, we choose what we want to learn and how we want to learn about it with guidance by an expert in the field as our mentor. This is experiential education guided by the student. It's experiential education because we are applying our real world passions to solve real world problems. This real world application is the cornerstone to good experiential education. Some of my peers in the same program are researching nationalism in the former Yugoslavia, the effects of altitude and orientation on radiation decay, and creating more sustainable concerts. Each of us are pursuing our unique and varied interests to different depths, not too deep to the point of boredom or too shallow to just scratch the surface. We are each diving in just as deep as we want. And as we dive in, our passions grow and our excitement is ignited. Meanwhile, we are learning. We are learning how multi-ethnic nations collaborate or don't. We are learning how to install new traffic policies at the city government level. We are learning how to make a plane fly or crash, but we'll get there. Anyways, we aren't learning this through endless slideshow presentations or boring online assignments. We are getting our hands dirty and our minds confused and learning for the joy of learning. This is real education, not common core requirements or letters on a transcript. Now, I wish that I could say that I see this excited and energetic pattern as the standard, but I can't. Unfortunately, what I see is the opposite trend progressing. Students can't understand why or how what they are learning is applicable to their real lives. The disconnect between each subject and the disconnect between those subjects and real life is even greater. It makes us question, why should we bother learning this when in the real world we would Google the answer? Why should I bother learning calculus when my phone can scan the page and give me an answer? Why should I care what was happening in some random country 100 years ago? Now this attitude is understandable. When technologies are making what we learn seemingly useless, why should we waste our time? When we can't see a connection between what we are learning and what we want to do for a career, or worse, when we have no idea what we want to do for a career because nothing has interested us, is it any surprise that our academic performance is dropping and it is significantly dropping by standard metrics? While we have underpinned academic performance's decline as a result of the pandemic, this is far from the truth. While this data represents 13 year olds, for all age groups in which data exists, the downward trends in math and reading began in 2012, when, for reference, I was just six years old. The point is, this trend is not new nor a rare phenomenon. However, experiential education offers us the cure to this trend. By utilizing our innate passions as fuel for education, we can connect traditional subjects to applicable instead of archaic ends. It answers the question, why do I need calculus? To understand how to find the lift generated by my wing. Why do I need to learn about that random country? To understand how to run a multi-ethnic nation that does not collapse into genocide. Now, AER and similar programs rest on six key pillars. A teacher who cares and inspires, a mentor who encourages, greater than semester long projects, direct application to the real world, and extracurricular activities. The Gallup-Purdue Index found that of students who had experienced zero of these in college, 
only 3% felt prepared for life after graduation, compared to 43% who had experienced three, and 82% who had experienced all six. So if we can make these pillars the foundation of high school academic programs, we can greatly increase the productivity, but far more importantly, the fulfillment of our next generations. Now, more than ever before, we have technologies that can augment an individual's ability to incredible heights. However, we have an education system that appears willfully blind to these advancements. Students in experiential education programs like AER can bridge this gap by connecting and using their passions on real-world practices. These programs allow students to find and create ways to make their passions and interests the centerpiece of fulfilling and purposeful careers. So, back to my plane. After a great orange paint job, she was looking good and ready to fly. And I crashed it. <laughs> but I learned. And so the process continues. Onward, upward. Thank you.